So guys, this is basically how I start off my um, crab, shrimp, like seafood um, rotel. I start off with the um, rotel in the can, the um, stew, like um, tomatoes with the slices and vegetables already in it. And from there, I go, I go, I go right ahead and add the shrimp. The melted Velveeta cheese, some good um, crab like meat. It can be real crab meat or fake, but if you're trying to make something fast and it still has a good flavor, I don't mind the imitation crab flakes. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And this is the Tony's um, Creole seasoning, crushed peppers, and again, the Rotel dip. It's just me and my kids, so I only use one can. I just took this out so y'all can see. And this is the old. Okay, I'm like, now I'm going to try to chop some of this frozen crab meat down to smaller size. Um, I usually take it out beforehand because it's just easier and I usually have a smaller pack. But I usually buy like two or three packs throughout the month that usually just last because I eat a lot of seafood and a lot of rotel. But I just bought a bigger pack and it's just harder to cut. But that might be enough depending on how small I chop it. I put it in the bowl. Um, that should be enough because crab meat kind of like shred up like once you cut it. And I got my shrimp. And I'm not going to use that many shrimp because they really kind of be. Um, I use it. Um, chop my um, shrimp down like to smaller sizes like when I'm cooking the actual um, seafood like, and it's just me and my kids so they just really like the cheese part of it so this is more than enough so done with that this up excuse my kids in the background going crazy slightly um i'll be back hey welcome back guys Hey, welcome back guys. Welcome to my channel. Just getting this crab boil off and started. Not crab boil, but my um, quick shrimp rotel. Promise you this is quickly 15, 20 minute meal. Something you can cook really fast. Even if like the shrimp and stuff is frozen, seafood actually cooks really fast. Once the shrimp is pink, they're actually done, which takes minutes literally. And even to make it faster if you wanted to um like pick up your um your rotel potato uh i mean tomatoes and seasons and everything together then add in the meat and stuff that even be faster welcome back guys i'm gonna now add the um crab meat pieces i did chop them up and yes they are still frozen like i said seafood cooks so fast so it will cook pretty fast Pretty, pretty fast. And once I'm done with that, I'll add my chunks of Velveeta cheese and my seasonings, and that's pretty much it. And we're gonna have a meal. Also, guys, also I did use about a spoonful of this hot Mexican extra hot sauce, salsa picante, um, just to give it an extra flavor. And this have a lot of seasons that I use, so. And I actually like a little spicy, so I put a little spice in and I'm going to add about an ounce, of, a half an ounce of water. And I always, I don't have measuring cups, so I usually measure with like my baby bottle because it has per perfect measures on it. So probably about a half an ounce of water and um, the rest of my seasonings and the cheese and that'll be pretty much it. I'm back. Sorry guys for all the background noise. Y'all know this coronavirus got the kids at home and they just running wild. They don't know what to do. Testing me, playing with me. So I have to put them in their room and let them do them. 
But this is pretty much everything in. I'm gonna add my last seasoning. This is my Tony's seasoning. Hey guys, this is pretty much the finished product. Um, I just added me some chives to mine. You know, add your seeds to taste and whatever you like. Um, hey, welcome back to Lady TV. Glad you guys could join. I'm now actually making some um, sweet corn to go with the um, Rotel. Um, I always make corn when I make tacos or any type of dip or anything nacho related. Um, so I just added butter, pepper, and a little bit of sugar. I like my corn extra sweet. Now I will balance out with this little spice of the Rotel. Quick smoke break in between. Um, so by the time I get done smoking, my corn should be done. Period. Like I said, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be dropping more food videos since we'll be quarantined in the house. That's all I will be doing is cooking, smoking, and taking care of kids. This is my regular life. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Lele TV, guys. This is the end finished product of my Rotel Seafood Dip. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget, once again, like, comment, subscribe. I add me on Instagram, the real Leilani, the real Leilani, L-A-Y, L-A-N-Y. Thanks.